I'm gonna show you how to do this graphic cool eyeliner really quick using the Kevin Kwan liquid eyeliner. We did a look very similar to this yesterday in the Space and K campaign shoot, uh, but I'm gonna do a different take on it because I love a graphic, quirky little shape. So, I've already done one eye. Here's one I prepared earlier, and it looks like that. It's kind of disconnected. I went in the inside here and then just did a little V-shape on the outside. It's really easy. But what I do like to do is set myself up for success with a little mirror in my hand because I like to really just focus on that one feature and really sort of just look at that feature instead of the whole face. Really allows you to own in on the perfection of the details. So I'm just gonna take my liner into the inner corner first. And then softly blend that edge with my fingertip. So I'm just basically putting it in there to create like a pointy kind of inner corner and defined inner corners. If you find liner tricky or you take a little bit longer to do liner, use the backy hand and really kind of get the product going and get the flow of the formula working for you and it will really help. So I'm just gonna take the product. I always keep my eyes open when I'm doing a liner. It's really important for me to do it this way for me and on other people because I can really see where I need to place it. Whereas if you close your eyes or if you you know, pull the eye a little bit. If that works for you, totally do not change. But if it doesn't work for you, try it with your eyes open and look direct into a mirror with your eyes as relaxed as you can get them. So basically just like etch out at one side. I always start the lower lash line and work up toward the corner of the brow a little bit. And if you find it hard to balance, rest your pinky finger on your face or rest your elbow on a table. And then, and it's hard to relax your eye. It's quite, it's quite a strange thing to practice because we're so used to when we're looking in a mirror, at least me, I'm so used to being very like on and my face is sort of poised, I guess. But you have to kind of almost act a bit sleepy and let the skin on the eye go where it wants to go. Because that way when you're looking at somebody and talking to somebody, the makeup is where you want, the makeup is gonna be where you want it to be on the face. So now, if I want to do any cleanup, what I love to do is take a pointed Q-tip and a little bit of face cream. It has to be like a really rich emollient face cream. I just put some on the Q-tip. You twist it on the back of your hand and you kind of just like take off the excess so that it's kind of like a, a dewy kind of tip. And then you basically just like pick it up where you don't want it. So I'm shaping it now. The benefit of this as opposed to makeup remover is that this won't actually remove the makeup underneath as much as makeup remover would. So I'm gonna do a touch of mascara. This is Hourglass Caution. I love this, we used it on set yesterday. And the lashes on our gorgeous model, Dimphi, looked incredible. I'm just gonna build that a little bit. I'm very much a more mascara than merrier kind of girl. My mum was a singer and always put loads of black mascara on before she went on stage. And now it's just like ingrained in my brain and that's what I do every day. So I'm just gonna wing them out toward the corner of the eye in the same shape as the liner so that it like adds to that sort of feline effect. That's it, done.